In this video, we're going to explore how to remove a specific item from an array in JavaScript. And this can be very useful because maybe you have an array with list of uh, with values in there or elements in there and somehow you want to remove one somewhere between between in the array and you want to do this and you can do this with javascript with some clever options because javascript has a few wonderful commands combining them together will give you a automatic result that you will love all right so let's explore that but before that if you want to learn more about Chart.js, check out my Chart.js Udemy course. You can find the link in the description box below. All right. So what we're going to do is basically this. We're going to create an array. And imagine you are a grocery store and you have a product list. And in your product list, you have a few items. You say eggs. We put in milk. We put in uh, bread. Grapes. Uh, tomatoes all right so we have our list here and if we open up our console.log because basically I'm going to work only in the console log so you don't have to spend time on design and whatever and the main reason is it makes more sense because we're only going to focus on JavaScript although I do like a design like this however if I open up now I save that and I re refresh here and open up my developer tab you can see here did I put my console.log console.log and refresh here did I save this let's save it one more time all right so once I did we once I save it you can see here my values here we have our console.log working and we have here our array it returns the array so imagine this you're in your grocery store and what happened is now is that the grapes are sold out so you want to remove that from your product list how do we do this well with the arrays, we can start to work on it. And what we have to do first is use here to figure out the position. If, of course, right now, it's easy to do, but imagine you are a grocery store and you have not five products on your list, but maybe a thousand. So you're not going to search for every item here and figure out the position. What you can do is let JavaScript do the work for you. Basically, you automate the process. So what we're going to do is, first of all, figure out the position of grapes. Yes, and we're talking about the index number. And remember, index number starts with zero here. So we already know by looking at it, we already know. So zero, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. So this is the third index number. However, what if we don't know? So we're going to use a command here. So we say product list and dot index off. And in here, we're going to find an exact match. And I repeat exact match. What that means is whatever you wrote down here should match in here. So we're going to put it in here. So no capitalized letters. It's all small letters in our case. Now if we do this and we put in now here the console.log and save this, we will see now we have number three, which is the third of the index. The third index, which is correct because this is zero, one, two, three. All right, so we know now where exactly this item is stored in our array. So what we can do next is basically we're going to splice it by using the splice command or splice method. So what we're going to do is here, first of all, we say here product list, product list, which is the array name, and then splice. And in splice, we have two values that we're going to work on. There's more options, but we don't need the other options because the other option would be to add up new values within the array, which in this case we will we don't want. We just want to remove grapes from the array. So what we're going to do is here is the following. The first value here indicates the starting position where we want to start. So the starting position based on index number good thing is we already figured out this here this is number three so we can copy this and just overwrite this one put it in here the second number so this is the first number so the second number indicates how many items we want to remove if you don't want to remove anything you put in zero but in our case we want to remove only one item here which is the grapes 
So we put in the value of 1, because that's the only thing we want to remain. So now we have this. So if we type in here console.log, and just look which item are we pinpointing, you will see now that it should show the value of grapes. Let's save this. Refresh here. And as you can see here now, we're only going to have the grapes. It says here 0 and length is 1. That is correct. This is the one we splice from the array of product lists. Or product lists, sorry. So that would mean this is exactly what we want. Now if we do console.log and show our new product list. Save this. Refresh. As you can see here now, we remove the grapes, which was the third or the fourth element, which is the third here was somewhere between bread and tomatoes. And that's what we did. We removed that. If we would adjust this, we could put in here two. What happened then? We are going to delete two items, which is grapes and tomatoes. To refresh, you can see here now, now there's three items here, and these other two has been removed. So this is basically how you can remove a specific item from an array in JavaScript. You make sure, first of all, you have the array, then you use the array and use index of, getting the match value. And once we did that, then you splice that specific value by indicating where the location is using the index of, and then you indicate how many items you want to delete. If that's the only item, you just put in one. So indicating that you only want to remove one item from the array. Once you did that, you can then return the uh, product list again, showing the value, and then it will work exactly as we want. And this is basically how you do it. So if you like videos like this, where I help out with basic JavaScript tips and tricks, or answering some specific questions, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below.